Hi viewers, today we will discuss about the pharmacology of isoniazid, which is a commonly used as an anti-TB drug. So, let's get started. Isoniazid remains the primary drug for tuberculosis, and it is a synthetic analog of pyridoxine. Isoniazid is a prodrug that is activated by an enzyme mycobacterial catalyst peroxidus. It is bacteriostatic for resting bacilli, but bactericidal for dividing microorganisms. Isoniazid is able to penetrate into phagocytic cells, and it can kill both extracellular and intracellular organisms, thus used in treatment and prophylaxis of TB. Talking about the mechanism of action, isoniazid inhibits synthesis of mycolic acids, which are essential components of mycobacterial cell walls and thereby destroying the cell wall of mycobacteria. If we talk about pharmacokinetics of isoniazid, orally administered isoniazid is readily absorbed. Absorption is impaired if isoniazid is taken with food, particularly carbohydrates or with aluminum-containing antacids. It diffuses readily in all body tissues, tubercular cavities, placenta, and meninges. It is extensively metabolized in liver, most important pathway being acetylation, and metabolites are excreted in urine. The rate of isoniazid acetylation shows genetic variations. There are either fast acetylators or slow acetylators, and with slow acetylators, enjoying a better therapeutic response. Isoniazid is primarily indicated in conditions like acute leukemia, mycobacterial infection, prophylaxis of TB, tuberculosis, and vestibular disorders. It can also be given in adjunctive therapy as an alternative drug of choice in pulmonary TB. Now, moving towards the adverse effects. The incidence of adverse effects is fairly low, except for hypersensitivity, Adverse effects are related to the dose and duration of administration, but main adverse effects include hepatotoxicity, peripheral neuritis, which is the most common adverse effect, appears to be due to a relative pyridoxine deficiency, mental abnormalities, convulsions in patients prone to seizures, and optic neuritis. Isoniazid may also cause hemolytic anemia. In individuals with deficiency of enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, and it also decreases the metabolism of anti-epileptic drugs, like phenytoin and carbamazepine, resulting in an increase in plasma concentration and toxicity of these drugs. So, that's all about pharmacology of isoniazid. Hope you like this video. And also subscribe to my channel for more cool content about pharmacology and medicine. Thank you.